How are we doing, guys? There's Ann for you. Okay, we're going to do some... These seem to really go over good, and I like these. With the cup and a base, and then putting the cup in it and pouring into it. Um, my other one that I did, people really enjoyed it. So I'm going to try to do a one, two again. But we're going to do two kinds. So you'll have to watch my next video to see the reverse of this. This one we're going to put down a white base. And we're going to use gold, really dark, uh, like a plum color. And then like a lavender. But I add a little metallic to it this time. And then we got black. So we're going to put them colors with some white in here. And then I'm going to reverse it around. And my next painting, if you watch, <clears throat> I'm going to use the same colors. But instead of putting black in, I'm going to put white and have a black base down. So let's see how this works. Okay. We're going to mix all them in with that. So let's get our white base down. Then you guys will see what I'm talking about. And then just realize it's going to be reversed later. So next time they'll be black down instead of white. And we're going to see what the same colors do with different bases. Because I seem to like this. It really gives you a cool effect. Now there is no silicone in this one. I have none. So I'm going to see what just with the um the colors with the uh, latex, see how they mix and what we get out of this. So, we have black. Uh, yeah. We have the plum, gold, and a lavender. So, I don't know which ones to do first. Um, I think we're going to start with a little black first. That way we get a little gray line. And I'm going to do these like so. Because I want different patterns to come out. Now, there's a lot of paint in the center of that. So it's going to take a minute. I just dripped some out already. And then we're going to go. Well, since it's black, we're going to go with the purple right over the top. I don't have a lot of paints in these because last time it did not take much. Because basically the white's filling it in. Now on the other one I'm going to do the opposite and do the black. And use the black to mix it and fill it. Which may come out very dark. But we'll see. Maybe I'll stick to the white and just do the black base. But my thoughts were these colors just... I've seen a couple of paintings with the purples and the gold. And they use the black. And they just come out really awesome. And I started to realize I haven't done one with like that. I did a one a long time ago with black and purple and white to try to make a geode. And it didn't come out that great. But I mean the painting come out neat but it didn't come out like a geode. And I have a plan for that one. I'm still trying to work it out in my head. I've seen a bunch of them with the resin geodes. And I've seen a couple more people did it with the acrylics. And I really want to try that. Um... Yeah, I got my own ideas of doing it, but whether they'll work or not, who knows? I mean, you just don't know. Um, I'm going to have to put something in the back of that here. Let me just prop it up just a little bit. I'm reason that's on the level again. There we go, put you back under there. We already got some colors pumping through here, so it's going good. Let's put a little more black in here. I don't want any real. <clears throat> I don't really want any one color to take over. Um. So I don't want the black and white mixing. And put that purple. Should be putting these down here instead of dripping all over my painting. There I go. Got plenty of room down here. I don't want no extra mixing going on. I mean, that's bad enough, but... Okay, let's add a little more white to that. We seem to be getting one white here again. I try to balance these out as good as I can. I really do. Drip. Yep. Okay. I brought it back to center a little bit. <clears throat> 
yeah, we don't know what we're gonna get out of this, so let's just see. And like I said, I know these colors go together. Um, pouring your heart out, I think, is her name. Is her uh, page from YouTube? Check out hers. She has some. She does the swipes, and they're amazing. She did one in a, um, the gold, the purple, and the black. I think it was, and it's just the colors come out. That's what gave me one of the ideas, and then I see another one. And I see one with a bunch of cells with the purple, and I'm like, oh, that's pretty cool. Well, I've been wanting to do a purple one. I got it. Somebody requested my one of my friends, his daughter wants a purple one. So I'm going to try to do a couple of different colors of the purple and see which one I like the best for her. And then I'm going to do hers. Um, I gave her a mom a blue and purple one, I think it was. And she really enjoyed it, and her daughter seen it. And it's one of my best friends I've grown up with for like 20 some years. And, um, I gave it to his wife for a Christmas present, and she really enjoyed it. She watches my channel, and I, um, her daughter requested that, could not, she told him or her that I'm the one who did that, and she said, well, can you do me one? I said, yeah, I'll be glad to do you one. So, that's what's going to happen, and you guys will get to see that one when I do it. Okay, let's get some more purple in here. I don't know if our white seems to be slowing down here. There we go. Put you back in the middle there. A little more white. There she goes. I love the way this just lets certain layers out that cause certain things. Look, I mean, look at the cells, and there's no silicone in this. So I, I think it's the enamel, the oil and the enamel mixes with the acrylics and causes that to happen. Um, I haven't had a chance to study that yet. I don't think about it when I'm not doing this. So it's hard not to. Uh, let's see. What are the last I want? That purple. We got that purple. Let's just throw just a little more black in there. Let's see since we're sliding that way. Uh, like I said, in this way, it don't take as much paint either. It seems to take less paint. I mean, you see these little cups, and they were about two-thirds of the way full. Um, and yeah, I mean, it takes more white or more of your base color, whatever you're going to use to add to it. Use more of that, really, than you do anything. Because there's a lot of paint left in that cup yet. that hasn't oozed out. So we're going to move this around a little bit. I noticed on the last one I did that. I got some pretty neat effects. So you don't want to do it too much because then you'll mix your colors up like that does there. But sometimes that's cool, sometimes it's not. So I'm debating. I mean, I got a lot of paint in there. I think we're going to let it free. And we're going to see what happens. I got plenty of white and colors that I can always do the edges in. So I think we're looking pretty good right there. And remember on the other one, I'm going to do just the opposite. We'll use basically the same colors, but we're going to have a dark background and a dark, a lot darker painting. So, let's see what we got here. Time of scene. Be free. Let's see what we got. Right there, we still got a lot of black swirly. That's amazing that that didn't mix. But we're going to bring it around and mix it up. Try to stretch that out a little bit. You know what? Um, I do have it. Uh, we're going to do this. With that. I want that to mix with them a little bit. I don't want them lines like that. And this can help change that just a little bit. Okay. Let's see what we get here. What's hidden underneath all that this time? Okay, we don't want to lose all that. Or that. Let's stretch this this way at the time. 
Oh yeah. I think we're going to have something pretty neat here. Come on, stay in there. Don't want to lose all that star. Okay, enough. Let's bring you back. There we go. See what that did to that instead of them being them squiggly lines. It mixed them colors together just enough. I love this. That's just amazing. Paint got a little thin right there. We got some cells that popped up. Let's bring some paint back down there. I think I moved it just a little too quick back when I did it. There we go. Yeah, you don't want to pull it too fast because then it, it just tears the cells apart. And then your paint just doesn't show what it's supposed to underneath there. You want to pull them edges, but you don't want them to pull them completely apart. Like these, these are just amazing in there. Trying not to destroy them too much here. Keep some of this together. Some of the structure of it. It's amazing what, what comes out of these, it really is. Let's see what we can do about this one here. We don't want to lose all of that. There's some really wild things, yellows and purple and black and let's see if we can open them up like that. There we go. Come on baby. Open up. Like I said, when we reverse this around, I have no idea what we'll get the other way. Because all that white and the black still is in here, so you really don't know what it's going to do. I mean, you really don't. Sorry guys, I'm trying to keep, I hope you guys can see all that. I'm just trying to keep it most level as I do it too. I'm trying not to lose everything. I mean, some of that stuff is really neat. I'm going to do it slow enough to let it just creep to the edge. Okay. Let's see what we can do about pulling some of that back to the middle. Yeah. Right there. I'm going to take a little bit of this extra right here. And just drop you in there and let you do your thing against that. And we should want a little more purple. We'll point that, wipe that off. We're gonna just drop in that little bit of purple in that. We'll let that settle. There we go. Unreal. Is that gorgeous or what? <sighs> That is just unreal. Them colors go together so good. It's just it's fabulous. <sighs> there we go. Bring you guys down and see some of these amazing things going on. 
I mean, look at them cells for <clears throat> no silicone. I mean, those are just paint and water. I mean, my glue, my water does have glue in it, so maybe that does cause them. I really don't know. But yeah, look at that. I mean, that big thing right there is just cool. I mean, it's really not as big as that, but it just, it's so neat. It's got the yellow spot in there somehow. There's no yellow. It's just gold and white mixed thing over there. But yeah, I mean, look at, you got that going on right there. That's what's left over that squirrel I made. And there's the rest of it. Separated. But them big giant cells. I like the big giant ones. I think these are so much cooler. Then to have just a bunch of little ones where you really can't see what's going on. So, I mean, like that thing right there, see how the light, that is just unbelievable. Sorry, I'm trying to hold it still, guys, really. It's so hard. Yeah. So, there we go. <sighs> My finger over it. Hope you guys enjoy them. Uh, next time, like I said, we're going to do the reverse around. We'll do the black. And then we'll add the black to it with the white. And we'll see how that works. You never know. I mean, the other painting could be just the opposite of this. It could be the exact same thing almost. I mean, we really don't know. But there's purple, black, gold. Two purple. Well, we'll say plum purple. Gold, black, and white in a pour, and that's what you get. Hope you guys are enjoying them. Hope you're having fun. It's my fun. I enjoy doing them. I love to see what comes out like that when you pour a couple of paints, a bit of paints in a cup. So, I had a great sunny day today. I hope your day was sunny and fun. Hope you're living your life best you can. Hope you're enjoying every day. I know I am. Trying to anyhow. But for now, peace. Watch for my next video. You'll get to see it later.